Hey, what's up my broke budget guys, gals, and ninjas? Today we're gonna be talking about how do you pay off your credit card and keep it paid off. So you know a little bit about me. My name's Brittany and I've had three credit cards that totaled thousands of dollars and I've been able to keep them paid off for six months now. So how did I do it, how did I pay them off, and how did I get them out of my life? The short answer is I paid more than the minimum on them. And then in order to keep myself from spending more, I took the credit cards and locked them up in a safe. Other people may recommend cutting them up and tossing them out as well, which is also really good if you can't control yourself when you're around your credit cards. But when it's at home in a safe, I can't use it and I actually kind of forget about it, which is really good because then keeping it on my credit score basically raises my credit score because at 0% balance with it paid off on time um, and staying that way, it actually raises my credit score. You don't want to spend on it and you don't want to be tempted. That's why I say don't leave it in your wallet. Stash it away someplace where it's safe, someplace that's harder to reach. We do it in a spot that's really hard to reach. We have to go in this crawl space to go and get this thing. And so it's not tempting to go and grab the credit card. So you have to do everything in your power to make it so that it's not tempting to get the credit card, at least for the first little while. After a little while, after a few months, you kind of forget about it. You don't care anymore. You have to be committed to it in order to have this system work for you. Because if you're not committed enough and you just go back to the safe every time you want to buy a new pair of shoes, well, then it's not going to work for you. In all honesty, it's probably safer for you to just delete the account altogether if you have such a big spending problem that you can't control yourself. So how do you really pay this off? Well, the simple answer is just to increase your payments as much as possible. That may mean working extra hours at work. That may mean getting a second job. That may mean just cutting as many corners in your budget as possible, whether that's on your grocery bill, which is what we cut down on the most, or whether that's on other things. So you start unplugging things from the wall that'll lower your electricity bill, which is just that extra money that you can use towards the debt on the credit cards and so much other things that you really can do to cut your spending down and you really have to have a budget in order to figure out what your spending is and how much you can cut out and figure out ways to do this and you have to be kind of creative with how you do this. I wish there was an easier way to pay off your credit card but there really isn't. You have to have more money in order to toss it out the debt. Now if you have money laying around, well then, use it. Um, obviously you wanna save an emergency fund still, so you wanna at least have a starter emergency fund of $2,000, $3,000, and your retirement funds. Don't pull out your retirement funds. That's also a mistake. You don't wanna pay the taxes and the fees and the everything else attached to retirement funds. Plus you want that for retirement, that was the goal. So don't pull it out of a 401k or a Roth IRA or a anything. Borrowing money, that's another way that people talk about. They talk about borrowing money somewhere else from like a personal loan or from house equity and then putting it towards it, the credit cards. That's a big mistake. You're just moving debt around. It's not gonna help you in the end. And plus, credit cards are a lot easier to have debt on than having debt in your home or debt on a personal loan because those ones have more consequences than even a credit card has. So definitely just pay it off with your own money that you earn so other than those places, you really take as much money as you can and toss it at the credit cards to get the credit cards out of your life. It's a lot easier without them in your life. And I can tell you after six months of living without a credit card, I have so much more money in my pocket because I'm not paying for the credit card. And it's a whole lot less stress because I know I don't have to worry about, oh, I need to pay my credit bill on time or oh, we have like lots of money on here and how are we gonna pay for groceries? Because I've got money in the bank now because I'm not paying interest on things that I buy. And I'm not buying as much because the credit card tempts you to buy more because you see it kind of as an endless flow of funds and it's really not. You're borrowing money and you don't wanna do that. So stop spending on it, pay as much as you possibly can, cut as many corners in your budget as you possibly can. You can work your way from the smallest 
to the largest with a debt snowball or you can work your way with a debt avalanche or a debt assassination. Um, you can see those in my other video, the explanation of how to use those. That is basically how you would pay off a credit card as fast as you possibly can. You'll be just fine and you can get out of it. It took us um, a few months to get out of it. I mean, and we honestly expected it to take us a long time to get out of it, but it actually only took us a few months once we focused our attention and cut as much out of our budget as we possibly could. I know that you can do it just like we did it. Sometimes it takes longer, it just depends on your situation, what, how much money you can squeeze out of your budget, how much money you actually make if you are just by yourself or if you're with a spouse and there's two of you making money. I mean, all that stuff is gonna be very dependent on what you can do, but that's basically how you do it. So if you like this video, please hit like on this and then hit subscribe on my channel to see more videos like this. And thank you so much for joining me.